What's up, everybody? Take a ride with me today in a 2013 Volkswagen Golf. Under the hood is the 2.5 liter motor, automatic transmission, cold air conditioner, and this one has just around 116,000 miles. Here we go. All right, everybody, so we're in the Volkswagen Golf. Pretty clean car. 2013 as we just spoke about let's see how she performs acceleration is pretty good brakes feel good going around the corner suspension feels nice you know this car here is uh, all stock doesn't have anything really aftermarket about it you know hasn't been lowered um, you know, it doesn't have any different suspension or any different wheels or anything like that. Um, the nice thing about the Volkswagen Golf, it's a great car to commute around town in. It's small, it's easy to drive, it's compact in size. It gets pretty decent fuel economy. As you can see, I'm turning the car around in the parking lot out here. I mean, just as easy as can be. I mean, this is definitely one of those cars to be a great first car for somebody out there, maybe your son or your daughter. Also, the price point for a Golf is pretty attractive. I think this one is gonna be somewhere between $59.90 and $79.90, somewhere right around there. Haven't really discussed the exact price just yet, but um, somewhere in that price range of six to 8,000 bucks. Um, the other thing too, Volkswagens uh, here in the American, uh, you know, side of the world are pretty common. You know, you see Volkswagens on the road all the time. Just about every city or town has got a Volkswagen dealership. So you don't have to stress about getting them worked on. You could always find a, uh, you know, even a mechanic shop or whatnot that does, you know, that's outside of the dealership aspect. Wow, got a little event going on over here. Looking kind of fun, but, um, yeah, Volkswagens are pretty simple to work on for the most part. You can work on them at the house or in the garage and all that kind of stuff. Another thing I like about the Volkswagen Golf is it's a car that can be modified and look really good, okay? I mean, you put a lowering kit on your Golf and some wheels this thing turns into another vehicle. It just looks exceptionally well, um, you know. And also, when you lower it with different wheels and tires and all, it drives better, right? The lower they are to the ground, the better they they uh, you know they feel when going around corners and all that. And again, I just can't get over it, but the look of the car, um, it it really does kind of set it off once you. Uh, put some suspension on it and all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing to think about on these. A lot of people buying these cars uh, usually, you know, hook them up a little bit, right? It's almost like someone that buys a Jeep Wrangler. They're always gonna probably put a lift kit on there, some bigger rims and tires, and it just makes the Jeep Wrangler look so much better. I'd say the same on this right here, but it's still a great looking car, even the way it is right now. Now we're gonna pull into a parking lot up here in just a second and get out and let you see the outside of this car here because it is really a nice vehicle. So stay with me and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, so there it is. Looking pretty nice, right? Yeah. Like I said earlier, it's really clean. And this is the four door version of a Golf. They do offer back in the day, the Volkswagen Rabbit, which is basically kind of like this right here but a two-door but again just a clean small Volkswagen the perfect size car to zip around town in go to school college all that kind of stuff right I like it's got the tinted windows I mean just look at her just a clean little car so if you're watching right now and you live in the Charleston area or in South Carolina or somewhere nearby and you're saying to yourself, okay, I like it, Chad, I do. And I'd like to buy that car. Do not hesitate to get in contact with me at Southern Motor Company because I'll be more than welcome to help you get this one right here. Believe it or not, I got folks all 
over the place buying cars from us. We sell so many vehicles to people that just don't even live in Charleston. I mean, Tuesday, I got some folks coming in from out of town to pick up and buy a car. I mean, every week, it seems like we get one or two different clients from out of the area. And we also ship cars. So, you know, a lot of times we ship cars to people that are a little more unique, you know, like the DMC DeLorean that we just had, we shipped out, but I have no issues at all putting a car like this on a trailer and shipping it to you, whether you live in Savannah, Georgia, you know, wherever it may be, we can get the car brought to you. You know, that's a real popular thing right now. You know, Carvana, all these websites out there talking about shipping cars to people, but you got to realize Anybody can ship a car. I mean, it's not that difficult. If you need a car, you want a car, and you found one on my website like this, and you watch the video, and you feel pretty confident about everything I'm telling you, um, all I got to do is call up one of our transport guys. They'll come to the store, put it on the truck, and send it to you. Now, of course, there is a price involved with getting a car shipped, but, you know, it's not as expensive as you may think it would be, right? It's really not. I mean, from here to Savannah, we're talking 250 to 300 depending on the transport driver it's not really that much now when you're talking about moving you know halfway or all the way to the other side of the country or something like that that's a different story but just right here in the uh, on the east coast it's not gonna be too terribly high so those are things I always think about but just a clean car looks good well maintained it's a Volkswagen there you go all right let's hop back in take her back down to the store very nice looking car really is Ugh. anyways you may be watching the video today because you found a Volkswagen where you live at and uh, maybe you just kind of wanted to see what one looks like. You know, this is a good way to do that. Also has the uh, heated mirrors. You might wonder, well, what, what do we need heated mirrors for down south? Well, not so much. But if you're ever up north, you get snow or frost on your mirrors. Um, it's a nice thing to do to be able to heat up those mirrors and get the snow off. Where it is. Let's see how she feels. Just zip her on in. Suspension feels nice, as we talked about earlier. Just a easy car to drive. And it, there's just something about driving a smaller car. I, I really enjoy it sometimes. You know, some people like big vehicles. I've always kind of grown up driving smaller cars like this, uh, and uh, and I like it. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Just a simple video, but a video definitely helpful for somebody out there looking to buy a Volkswagen Golf. We'll see you later.